shelves and put them into the cupboard where they're going. Right. Good. In the meantime, so uh, now that we sort of have like the major construction actually done in the kitchen, um, we're on to the sort of sub projects, one of which is going to be sort of reorganizing all the kitchen storage. Now that we have the island, we're starting to put things into the drawers and figure out how we're going to use those. And we have a space that's always been a big junk pile um, uh, beside our fridge and, and so this space over here, which if you recall, we, we, took, we took the big door that was here and made it into smaller doors that now open properly. And it's always been just a mess. So what we're gonna do is, the, this is a freezer and this is a fridge, which we use mostly for beverages and stuff. Nadia ordered herself a new beverage fridge, which is much more accurate and a lower temperature for um, keeping her bread, oh, the sourdough bread overnight. And it's gonna go right here in this space. And so that's gonna disappear, which I realized is an opportunity for us to sort of organize this space a little better and make it a little more useful. So what I did was I ordered some of these nice wire shelving units. And this one's a rolling one. I'm just gonna put the top shelf on it. And this one's going to go beside the freezer. Point that down. So, follow me. So this guy is gonna go into this space. And it's gonna, it's on wheels, so we can pull it out. So what we're gonna use this for is our big clunky kitchen stuff like uh, Cuisinart and maybe Mix Mask. I don't know what we're gonna end up with it there, but it seemed like a much better, more useful thing. So I'm gonna get what's in there out and we're gonna see what fits. And then I have another little project there because I want to move or I want to create a, a plug inside this space so that um, uh, the fridges can plug in. We don't, we're not running in the fridges off an extension cord, which is... Should I leave the back door unlocked? Yeah, yeah, I'm not going anywhere. So, this guy will hopefully roll into this space. Whew. It just fits. Now, the real challenge here is also going to be the fact that this space up here, that space is just a little short for the uprights. Because the uprights come in fixed lengths, so I'm going to have to cut them down. So, here we go. Now, when I measured this, I knew that this is Wait a minute. What did I do? I could swear earlier today, I tried this and it didn't work. Silly me, I didn't, I, I, was, I was trying to figure out which legs were which, so I just took the box before I unpacked it and went, oh my, it doesn't fit. But the box is longer than the poles because it also has the feet in it. So, that's a relief. Come on in. We received our package. By the way, she remembered me too. <laughs> we, uh, we use, I don't know if people in Toronto, I guess everywhere else, there's a service called Penguin Pickup. That is now where we're getting all of our stuff delivered. It's right in the neighborhood. And even with our masks on, masks on she recognized me immediately she goes oh hey hi there and she went and picked up and grabbed my package for me i'm like oh okay that works it means we're ordering too much stuff <laughs> <laughs> these are the remaining handles that we ordered after we figured out which which ones we liked 
And these are from allhandlesandpoles.com. They have a really cool assortment of handles and poles. Especially if you're looking for wood ones, like if people are wondering why we didn't just go local. Looking for wood handles or poles was a little bit tricky where you want the quality, you want the style, and a very minimum looking design. And they, they just had it. Here they are. Exactly what we ordered. Yep. And the one that Rob didn't want, <laughs> Bob's. I like them. Beautiful yeah. handle that practically disappears when you look at it yeah. from the right angle. And but it's really, is... really very nice. Whoop. It doesn't want to focus. Not that close. But Screw there we you go. lens. And this is the knob. Nice and big. Yeah. How's it going? Oh, turns out <laughs> I did a really goofy thing. What? I was, I was trying to figure out which posts were for which, yeah. for the upper and the lower. Yeah. So I walked over there with this box, held it up and went, oh no, the posts are too long. Right. Well, guess what? I'm not a total doofus. The posts are right. The box is too long. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, Rob, I know you measured really. Yeah, I measured a lot, many yeah. times. Yeah, Rob is very particular, which is one of the, you know, beautiful traits to have in a person. Yeah, well. Sometimes my mind gets ahead of my thinking or something. I don't know. I don't know. All right, um, I'll let you do it. Okay, I can put together this shelf. shelf is all made up. Do we want to put it up there? Oh, we need to remove the fridge and all the other stuff. Yeah. Do you want to do it now? Uh, I have half an hour to kill. Uh, that's going to be more than half an hour. get the shelf out until I remove the fridge. Yeah. So that's a tomorrow job. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. You good? Yep. Just the right swing room. So, um, do you want me to go in there? I think what I'm going to try and do is do you just... Wanna, should we lift it from here? So you have more leverage? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. This doesn't want to move. What the freak? Where the f is the goddamn? Ah, my ah, 
Friday. Come on. Let's try this. Okay. So I'm going to lift these two legs, and you lift the third leg, and we'll hope the fourth leg goes up on its own. Okay? So, I'm going to start here. Okay. Oh my god, that's heavy. Forward, you need to move forward. You need to move forward. I can't. I think I may have to remove this. No. Let's just put that leg on there. Remember when you were standing at that side? Let me stand on that side. Let's just put that leg on there. You hold it from here, because once that leg is on the platform, this is actually quite light. And then I'm going to come around and we'll straighten it and we'll just... Yeah, we've given ourselves a little bit more room. Okay. Get that leg on? Okay. Yes. Okay. So now it needs to be in. Let's put a little worry about it. Here. Go in. It needs to. It needs to. Okay. It needs to pull out, but not off the ledge. Okay, so you need to pull towards you. I need another half an inch on this side. Here we go. Banda. Do you not fucking love me? <laughs> nice work. It's in. We did it. How awesome are we? Holy schmoly. Out of all the renovation work we've done, this was actually the most stressful for us. <laughs> not the IKEA island. Okay, this is back to the corner. I think this did outdid the IKEA island. Holy schmoly. Small but mighty, that's me. Okay, that was probably the eighth dwarf. <laughs> this has now allowed us to have storage, or even more storage. And actually storage we can see and get at, rather than yeah. losing things and going, oh, I didn't know we had that. Or I didn't know we had 17 things of Harissa. <laughs> or, or having 75 the... 75 boxes of Shan spices. Hey! I will let mom know you hid those from me. <laughs> <laughs> She's been, my mom's been asking me the whole time. Do you need more of these? I'm like, no, I think I have them somewhere. Tons of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have enough to go. <laughs> Hi, Rob. Okay. That's what's going to be the best way to do this. Is it right? You don't want me to move yeah. it? And I'll reach in. <sighs> well, I guess now the mice won't be visiting us anytime soon. <laughs> I don't even know how they got they there. What do you mean, how they got up there? there? It's concrete. How do they climb Yeah, up? they climb straight up concrete block. Are you kidding? That's a jungle gym for them. I guess That's they're like, a hey, parkour. Whoa, climbing. They're parkouring their <laughs> whoa, 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 free climb. 